The petition to prompt a recall election of District 5 City Councilor Gil Sork fell 168 votes short of the necessary 1,091. Udell V. Hill, spokesperson for the City of Las Cruces, said the city clerk's office received requests from over 200 people to have their signatures removed from the petition. People who felt that they may have been misrepresented or determined after they signed the petition that they didn't want their name to appear on the petition after, work, after all did contact the city clerk's office and ask that their names be removed, at which point they were. City Councilor Gil Sorg says those circulating the petitions were misrepresenting themselves and that the recall effort goes against democracy. These people voted for me and they voted me into office and now by deceit and lies they think they can take me out. And uh, finally I, I give great credit to the voters of my District 5 that they uh, saw through it and uh, refused to sign or if they were fooled they were willing to take their names off. The Political Action Committee New Mexicans for a Better Tomorrow did not respond to a request for comment, but is still moving forward with the recall effort. The petitioner seeking to recall District 3 City Councilor Olga Pedroza filed a supplemental petition with the city clerk. Pedroza says the effort to recall her doesn't have to do with any kind of misconduct, but has to do with her political beliefs. It is not for me, it is for uh, my beliefs in that are shared by so many people in that community. I think that the people who did this petition were thinking that it was very, very, it was going to be very easy because people were not uh, in tone, not, not aware, and so on. And I think they're finding that it's not so easy. The city clerk has until 5 p.m. April 9th to certify the additional signatures. The supplemental petition in the recall effort of District 4 City Councilor Nathan Small is due at the city clerk's office by 5 p.m. April 7th. For KRWG, I'm Samantha Sonner.